got boys. We gotta stop singing the songs because YouTube picks up on them. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're that in tune. They get everything. They shazam us, dude. They're just like we're such. Tune. We're so good at replicating the original artist that yeah. we get flagged for copyright. You're telling us Europe yeah. is coming yeah. after us? Oh yeah, dude. We're covering Final Countdown yeah, for sure. Everybody <laughs> for sure. Um, this uh, this Power Hour is you know probably pre recorded if you're listening to this at any time. And this is because you know we said we got fucking life. This busy busy fucking month and a bit for us. So uh, this is uh, you know so you guys. All you freeloaders that aren't helping us on Patreon, uh, you know, can continually uh, enjoy some ATT content uh, week in, week out. A uh, little lighter tonight. Uh, there's a new show. Listen, there's a new show on the block. Ancient Aliens better move the fuck over. Get out uh, of the way. Yeah, because it's time to cowboy out. <laughs> oh, it's not really new. I think uh, um, Brady and I talked about UFO Cowboys a little bit on uh, other Patreon stuff, but it's uh, found, I came across the show a couple months I didn't ago. Watch any of it. Um, I guess it came out last year. Yeah. Disclaimer before you watch it on yourself, brother. Yeah. Get ready to enter the gates of hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the, it's it's a wonderful show. You know, it, it takes place in the. This is a real show. And it is, is it? 100% real. I'm, I'm totally believing it. No, it is yeah, 100% it's just a bunch real. Of, you can't fake. You can't fake the amount of cowboy no. that these guys have. <laughs> cowboys would It doesn't matter mine. that okay? any of these cowboys have IMDB fucking <laughs> records longer than mine. No. All right? Hey. Right? Hey. right? Hey. Like, well, listen. That just happens. They're all playing their selves. So does John yeah. Wayne. I mean, come on. Yeah, John Wayne's like, not a real cowboy. He's also dead. How dare you? Man, I've only watched episode one of it so far. What I watched is amazing. It's the when the, the episode starts and it flashes across the screen, we got Jeff. He's the leader. Parker. He's the tracker. Aura, military expert. Hadley. He's the greenhorn. Guy's a piece of shit. Josh, the survivalist. <laughs> Caleb, <laughs> the livestock expert. Why is he Buddy, a piece of shit? He's the greenhorn. <laughs> Caleb, Caleb, anything. Caleb's the wild card for sure. <laughs> the livestock expert. Yeah, yeah. he's piece the wild card. Shit. He's got the flow. I I 100 percent uh, love the uh, the theme song um, that just wonderful cowboy butt rock. Oh, yeah, the the <laughs> dude, it gets stuck in my head. And, um, so the title of this <laughs> this the title of the song is "Meet Me in the Shadows" by the artist Last American <laughs> Cowboy. <laughs> this That's a great band name. That's and, uh, a great. They band have name. another. They have another hit song, um, which is also featured on Guess Where. UFO Cowboys. Uh, honky Tonk fucking hits number 75. Mountain Monster. Oh, oh that's shit. Show. The other TV show. Um, <laughs> Which is made by the same yeah, producers. Honestly, if you, if you like Aliens and you like Yellowstone, <laughs> this is right up your fucking no, alley. And guys. the other thing is, if if you're if you watch, if you're like us and you watch, you know, you, you watch, you got hooked into Curse Oak Island, you got hooked into uh, the hunt for Skinwalker Ranch, and like your biggest gripe is you're like, God damn, I guess not have enough cowboys. These, yeah, no, one. <laughs> these shows aren't real enough. Like, one, these shows aren't one, real enough. They're, I, they're little serious lack of cowboys. Well, and nobody's two, wearing Wranglers. At Bullshit. the end of every episode, there's a cliffhanger, and you're like, they don't really find out much. Well, this shows the answer to that, because it's got like 10 times the amount of cowboys. And in episode one, they find more shit in episode one than all of Curse of Oak Wait, Island listen. and Hunt for Skinwalker Ranch they find, find combined. In they like find the gates of hell seasons. underneath a fucking sheet. And yeah. it's so uneventful, <laughs> they don't even mention it for the rest yeah. of the episode. <laughs> he, he okay. hold on, let's There's a hot... Okay, first off, this, that, okay, we, this is one of the guys allegedly owns this property. This is his property. This is his old barn. Oh, it's got to be the old guy, right? No, it's... I is it? I no, I, I thought that they, they talked to other it's, guy. The guy who owns it is his name is yeah. Steve. Yeah, no, he's, he's not part Steve. of the, like, the cowboy but he's crew. He's not part of the, it's not oh, Steve, yeah, it's the Steve. cowboy crew is they are known as the the collectively they are known as the cowboy sky watchers. And, and I thought there. it was cowboy skywalkers. I was like, that's fucking dope. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> apparently it is this this group, you know, has there was a need for this group to come together because out in cattle country in the deep west, in the deep west, the wild west, there's more UFO and paranormal activity that goes unaccounted for. You couldn't cattle, imagine. You cattle mutilations. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> which are like the American West. And I'm like, that is a huge piece of land. And they're like, there's more paranormal activity in the American West than anywhere else and in the then, United States. And I'm like, that's like half the United States. I'm like, of course it would be more than anywhere in the United States. I like, I like how at the first shot of these guys, they're up on a ridge on a fuck, all on horseback on a ridge. Oh, yeah. And they're like, fuck, he's, one guy like spits and he goes like right here. <laughs> There's more UFO sightings than anywhere else. <laughs> In the first episode, we get not only do we get a UFO's hotspot, not only do we get possible Tyrannosaurus Rex footprints, <laughs> not only. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about that. That's right. That's not right. only do we get the footprints, not only do we get the gates of hell, not only do we get a haunted barn, but we get the greatest cast and crew ever assembled for any show, I think. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. pretty much. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, their their leader, uh, Jeff Sailors, uh, has been rodeoing. I guess for not rodeo, he's been a range hand for like forty years or something. They start off with like a whole like montage of like photos of him and whatever, and it's like hey, that dude has had a beard. That guy was born with an awesome yeah. beard. I, I feel beard. like he's that been guy branded was just like, for sure. Again, yeah. yeah, he's the old hand on there. Like it's great, oh, dude. I <laughs> hope during I hope during this series. That there is a Yellowstone type branding session, and has he has to, to brand his fellow members into the group. Oh, that might that might yeah, actually happen. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> and for so each of them, yeah, he's got the team leader role. Uh, Caleb Summers is the next person who Caleb does a lot of talking throughout the, the series and stuff. He he kind of covers yeah, exactly. stuff. His Whoever role we have with the best accent. It's got to talk the most. We got to sell yeah. this. His official role, though, title of, of the team is livestock yeah. expert wild, slash wild is, card. He's the fucking wild card. Flash yeah, wild card. For sure. <laughs> it's like, I was like, wait, so like, did you guys send a call for livestock expert? Like, I know it's like, okay, we're rolling in like the cattle mutilation. So we need a livestock expert. Like when you want to get like a vet? Maybe. Like, yeah. like, no. Maybe like an a veterinarian. No, no, no. no, no, no you no. don't want any no. learned. It'll Just shoot. livestock expert. Just learned from the folk, chicken man. tracks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's the two guys. There's Parker Howell Dude, and Josh Parker Tyler, Howell. Who's, I th- Parker Howell is a Cherokee who's a master tracker. And... There mm-hmm. was a, yeah. there's only for the first 25 minutes of the show, there's only shots from his high chest up. And I'm like, this dude is yoked. Holy shit. And then like 15 minutes in, they do like a shot of him just waist up on a horse. And I'm like, holy shit. He's got a huge ass gut. That was surprising. I thought he was jacked. It's a cowboy and guy. then it like five minutes later shows a shot of a shot of him walking. I'm like that motherfucker from the neck down just gets wider. It's unbelievable. <laughs> You've never seen anyone. He's wearing a shirt. He's, so he's wearing like a shirt. Wow. Hey, listen. All his shirts are like Las Vegas lounge singer attire <laughs> oh, shirts. Like, what, what is that shirt from the shirt place from fucking I think you should leave? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um oh fuck. Yeah. yeah, yeah you don't understand. Yeah, Tommy's uh, two toe shirt. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, so good. But hey, listen, that's just you with a beard though, right? For the podcast. Same yeah. shit. You gotta frame the Dan face. Dan Flashes. Mm. Yeah, Dan Flash. That's right. Yeah. yeah, it looks like this guy shops at Dan Flash. Definitely shops at Dan Flashes. Uh yeah, Par- Parker is the expert tracker. And then there's Josh Tyler, who is the his official title is a survivalist, which but I you know feel what? like that's like an overlap of like I feel like I can't stand <laughs> these guys with their two first names for their full I can't yeah. do it. Josh, Josh Tyler? Tyler, fuck off, Josh Tyler. I feel like every cowboy um, is by nature a survivalist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I feel like it's, a, 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 isn't that just like in the job description of cowboy? You live, like, isn't that in there? In, I don't you know. You live your track, your, you got cows, you're tracking them out to the pasture. Sometimes you got to set up shop and that for a couple of weeks out there, you're living in the fucking bush. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I for just <laughs> I feel like and also like aren't they like I don't know it's just like yeah the, the, I I'm actually surprised that their job titles like don't like change throughout the, like I watched a couple episodes and it's like I feel like they, they, I felt like it was one of those shows where they would just like constantly change There's, just to be like oh like this expert I, just depending on what they're talking about it would just but that they did their they, first they maintain their those, first those thing roles. is they're when they're sitting on this ridge and they're like talking about like this is the most UFO encounters I can't remember which one it is he just goes like. I seen to UFO. And then he goes, it was brilliant. Circling lights. And he goes, it's just over there. You guys want to see? And they're like, I guess. And they turn and ride like two feet to the most incredible fucking like UFO lift off pad you've ever seen. Uh, the thing left a fucking crater, like a 12 foot crater in the ground. And they do an aerial shot. And you're like, this is the most unbelievable find in history. Didn't, didn't they say too when they're describing the craft, like it didn't have eight sides. 
I had, it had nine sides. <laughs> yeah. He's like, it had like seven sides, so it wasn't an yeah, octagon. Seven or something. It's I was just like, like, okay, well, that's okay. pretty detailed. Uh, you really had time to count. <laughs> and then they're and like, what? wouldn't you know it? 200, 200 miles south was a famous Lonnie Zamora case where the same crater was found. <laughs> It was only 200 miles, miles south. And I'm like, only 200 miles? Yeah, but it's all miles. flat. So it's all yeah. like, you know, you can probably see and it happen right. from there. Yeah. That's, and that, that's <laughs> oh, only yeah, that 100 miles yeah. as the crow flies. <laughs> but but there, I can't remember which, which guy it was, but when they're investigating the crater, he's like, see these lines out here? You guys know when like a tree gets struck by lightning and it leaves those lines? And they went, yeah. And then they didn't say anything more about it. So I quickly Googled lightning strike on, on Earth. And it looks the same, dude. That if that is lightning, I like if that the crater, lo- not so much the crate. I didn't find anyone with the crater that deep, but there was one. You're talking about the trees. Yeah. No, no, like, no, the, uh, actual the, or, like when a lightning strikes like a field. Oh, right. So right, there right. is like a, usually okay. a small crater, and it has like those branches, like where it like vaporizes the soil. Yeah. So it looked, yeah. it kind of had that oh. look to it. Now, if this was um, if this we, was a TV <laughs> show of any other caliber, you had Travis Taylor out here. The rest of the season is dedicated to analyzing this dirt, and all these guys do is like one of them like kicks kicks the rocks, and he goes incredible, and then they just walk <laughs> away from it, and that's it. No more crater. No, because they need they need to get their stuff together. Aura Brown, former military. <laughs> Other part token, of the squad. Token black guy. <laughs> token he, black guy. He, he even makes, makes the joke. joke. <laughs> he makes the joke. Dude, he does make the joke. And then um, the funny thing is, is, like when they shoot them originally, like in the lineup, like Aura Brown, I felt like they made him like stand back a little bit because when he stands next he's to huge. those guys, he's like a yeah, full head huge. taller than everybody else. No, he is huge. And plus his fucking well, huge just, ass hat. They don't want everybody to get too attached because that. if somebody's going to die. It's him. It's always. <laughs> He makes it. Yeah. He makes a joke. They're walking through the it. long grass, and they all got like their. Do they have guns? Do they have guns? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, they all got yeah. fucking oh, yeah. six shooters. And, and all, got, and all they got six shooters. And literally every cut I'll scene be in that show. Huckleberry. Fucking they're like, they're like, hey, blast. let's go look at the crater, and he's like, you better cock that hammer back, and he's like, all right. And he just, no, he said, <laughs> actually, I'm, they've all got their. Cults. I marked it down. Like, like, I wrote it down in my notes. What he said, he says, keep that gun cocked. <laughs> <laughs> And he's walking, yeah. he's walking around with the pistol, like not not like aiming, just like kind of at his hip, yeah. You know, just like just ready in case, ready to draw. You know, and it's like, yeah, and they're carrying like carrying like fucking revolvers, like uh, and just like I, I don't know, like double barrel shotguns. Still, I mean, okay, we gotta come back because like the best right. part of the because sh- uh, you know, if you want to lay in the hooks deep in a first episode, they did it by giving you everything paranormal that could ever happen in the world in one episode, but they don't talk about really anything because when they walk away from the crater. Next thing you know, they legit find a T Rex footprint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's huge. Well, yeah, when they're out there, whoa, when they're out there searching they're looking, around. They're like, "What is this?" They what figure this? the crater scared the cattle off, so they're going to try to find the cattle. And they're like, "A lot of mutilated cattle." Right. Wait a sec. We got dinosaurs. We got T Rex tracks. That's what's mutilating all the fucking cattle. What the right? best We've part gone is back in time. There's got a live fucking. Di- <laughs> It's a time portal. That's what I'm saying. This is the gates of hell. T Rexes are coming from hell. <laughs> they even they even asked like the ranch owner, like, "Have you ever seen anything like this?" He goes, "Only a turkey, but never this big." <laughs> so it's a <laughs> raptor. Then. It's like a, what the fuck? And this thing is like bigger the, uh, than your hand, big. Like you're like that. Like, you're it's like, huge. Yeah. It was like two feet across, yeah, like a like, massive footprint. You're like, what the fuck is making that? There's no turkeys. And they're like, and they're like, okay, so we got to check out this crater. We got to check out this crater. We've got to search for the disappearing cows. So the best time to do this is at fucking night, like midnight. That's yeah, the best yeah. time Instantly. to do this shit, right? We're you like know? eight minutes into the <laughs> episode. They're like, we better come back at night. You're like, what is happening? What? For what? It's like that, cr- that crater will still be there. You're like, in you're the looking daytime. for cattle. Like, it's, it's, it's going to be harder to find at night, right? I would think so. <laughs> or, well, Aura had to go get his fucking Geiger counter. And then he comes back with like, the, him and Hadley are dispatched to go team up and go to check out the gator. like aura takes out the geiger counter and hadley's like what's that he's like it's a geiger counter he's like geiger counter what's that and like the fuck <laughs> nothing dude? else it's, and he explains to him like what a geiger counter is like yeah, i don't, don't i don't like your this is some city <laughs> don't know this what a geiger counter talk. is um but it's like yeah and then they um oh, fuck and it's what is it no um 
uh, Jeff is like, he's like, yeah, Steve told me something about this ranch. And he said, when the sun goes down, the demons yeah. come out. That's a, that is legit as what yeah. he said. Word for word. It's funny. Fucking sense. And then, and then later um, in the episode, they stumble into the barn. And as soon as he walks into oh, the, the barn, into the the barn he, he, he just yeah. goes, yeah. as soon as I walked into that barn, I felt something was wrong. Like, I felt it in my bones. <laughs> That's it. And, and then the guy's like, sure that ain't your arthritis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, hilarious. <laughs> and then he's like, might be my arthritis. <laughs> yeah. It's so I like. Oh, they did. They did change uh, Jeff's uh, Jeff's role. Like uh, towards the end of the episode, like they put him as Jeff ET expert. Well, he's the <laughs> he's the leader like, of the Sky Watchers. So. But it's like he's they see ET expert, so it's like, but he's never had he's watched like, the movie about four hundred times. Okay, Dan yeah, Horner, yeah, the, the movie. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> No, he knows I, it. I, I, Off can, by our, I love Spielberg. <laughs> I can I can repeat every line verbatim. Yeah, <laughs> like, Drew Barrymore was amazing yeah. in that movie. <laughs> he knows all the uh, trivia. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're like, oh, this barn is evil. Like, it, and it's just an abandoned barn that's been like sitting there forever, I guess, like on that property. And, and it's like, you never like tore it down and, or you just left it in and there. We're and we're kind of talking the way we're talking about it. It's like, it seems disjointed. The show is disjointed. Like, it's like two minutes and then it's like two minutes over here. And you're like, what, wait, go back to what's happening at the barn. So, I mean, well, that's, they're why, throwing they put, the that's hooks why they put the warnings. Yeah, like, great they're, for the yeah. ADD. They're oh, getting the hooks in to everyone. Yeah. They're trying. They're trying to cover every <laughs> avenue of the genre. So, like, if you're a UFO guy, they get you with the UFO. They hook you in. You're like a Bigfoot cryptid guy. They get the footprint. They get you in. Yeah. You're Everything. a demonic supernatural <laughs> fan. Boom! They yeah, got the they've got they the got little, it for like, you. They've got the VH1 pop up video paranormal stuff on the <laughs> oh, bottom. I love they've that. got to switch out to like the UFO. Like this happened in 1966. Blah blah blah, and they have all that. It's it's amazing. Oh. Um, you've got what was it? It was like uh, Hadley, and so they like, they send Hadley, Caleb, and Aura out into the field to start going <laughs> looking for something. I, I, I don't honestly. Why they went when out they, there, I thought like, they, they were, they were looking there. for the cattle. Oh, they were looking but for the then, cattle. Yeah, they, then, looking, they tracked the cattle that they, way. Yeah, but then they're just like, "There's something in this field. I he, feel I hear yeah. it." And What's they're that? like, "What? Well, you listening?" And the and Aura's like, "I didn't hear nothing." <laughs> yeah. And then I all of a sudden you get Hadley. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fucking Hadley like fucking takes a fucking gets yeeted like yeah, they get, <laughs> across the they, field. They, they take looking. off their fucking they tie up the horses. And then they go in marching into this field oh. and they're looking mm. around. They're like, oh, here, get the you horses. hear something. I heard something too. It's over there. It's over here. And then one of them just gets paranormally fucking yeeted like six feet. Fucking force pull. Well, and they all go, ah! <laughs> everyone freaks out except the cameraman who is just like <laughs> remains perfectly. He's got, he got, he got <laughs> the money like, shot. In this. In the second episode, like they open up with that, like that's the cliffhanger. And then the second episode, they open that, and it's like Caleb and, and running around, like, all right, he got pulled over here. Where are we? And he like, turns the camera, around, where are we? Do you know where we are? And like, how do you guys not know where you are? You like walk straight out yeah. into the field. Like, it's because he chose like, to do this like, at night for fuck's sake. I was like, yeah. you're why? The I was like, well, I don't know why he was having a meltdown. I was like, you, which one of you is a master tracker? Why are you having a meltdown? Yeah. You're okay. And it was, He's like it on was the radio. Like, like, we they, need assistance out here. There's something out here. There and they're like, send Josh. And they said Josh like by himself. And I'm like, uh, like, dude, buddy system. Come on, at <laughs> least. Like, we're gonna send Josh. What the fuck is Josh gonna do? What the f- they've all got guns. I don't even think Josh has a gun. <laughs> like, survivalist no, Josh, Josh. Yeah, going go there with his booty he, knife. He, like, he's Bleh. ripping on a quad, and then he just sees one of their horses awesome, just go man. running. And he's like, running. Oh no. Oh, yeah, that's and they right. get there, they meet the other guys in the other field. They're like, Where's our horse? He's like, I saw one of your horses. And the guy's like, No, my horse, my mare. <laughs> Caleb's like, Oh my god, Caleb Dad is like it was like, oh my god, that was Dixie. And I don't know. And I immediately I was like, oh, Dixie's Midnight Runner. I was like, why didn't anybody oh. make that joke? Like, <laughs> it was like fucking funny. I was just like, nobody made that joke. So I was like, like nobody. as okay, this is happening, the other guys are like, yeah, the other three that are probably like, we're going to explode this paranormal barn. And uh, they're standing outside and they're like, there's a light in the barn. So they go running. And then there's no light in the barn. 
And they're like, like, but they're like in there, and Jeff's like, it's like this barn is evil, and are in here, and it's like, oh, there's axes and chains. I was like, it's like a, it's like a medieval torture <laughs> dungeon in here, like full of fucking. It's a normal uh, yeah, barn. Equipment you'd it's use on a farm. farm tool. Yeah, yeah, there was not one out of place farm tool. There's I a thought tractor over there. <laughs> yeah. That tractor, on it. that tractor was a hundred percent used to mow yeah. down slaves. <laughs> That's a haunted <laughs> road of tiller right over yeah. there. <laughs> It's like it's and then, bizarre. And yeah, that's when we get the we just dipped. Well, no, 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 no. They, they, there's a door, and this door is chained shut. And they unlatch the chain. This is the best part. I thought they unlatch the chain, and the door's a push open. So they like whoever, whatever's in this room is not coming out because it's chained shut from the outside. So they open the door and they go, "Who's in there?" And they got their guns out and they kick the door open. And I'm like. Well, you you unchain the no one's in there. You unchain the fucking door, like it's well, unless they lock somebody in there though. <laughs> so they open it. There's no one in there, and that's when when they step through this door. That's when he's like, "We just stepped through the gates." Yeah, and uh, and that's when they un- like they're like, "What's under there?" He's what's like, that? "Is that a what's, body? What's under there? Is that a body?" And the fucking Jeff peels it up. We yeah, can't the old see. Guy and he just goes, runs away. Yeah, and he just goes, oh, my He's God. Like, we got to get out he of here. He goes, oh, my God. I've it's, never I seen. seen. No, I haven't seen this in years. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, let's go. We got to get out and of here. They wa- no time to they explain. They walk out of the barn, <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> we got to help them get Dixie. And they leave. Yeah. No mention of what just they had. A- There's no time. There's no, They have to find Dixie. There's no time for her to explain what's going on. I was right? unbelievable. I, mean, I was like, I was Jeez. like. What in the fuck? And I watched episode two, and there is no, no even callback to that. Like they're just like, uh, I was unbelievable. And, and then you had like you got them out there in the in the woods. Like it's like two in the morning, is according to like the timestamp or whatever they put on there. And it's like they're walking around the woods looking for Dixie, and it's like Caleb Hadley and Aura. And then they're like, "What's that over there?" And then it turns into like fucking a per. They find like a perfectly clean coyote skull it's a coyote skull (laughs) and then they're now it's like coyote csi and they're like how did it die and And i'm like he goes he goes and he pulls a piece of it and it just kind of falls apart and he's like oh it's been dead for a while it's like oh his eyes been really Mm. like and he's like putting the pieces back together like he's like got the he's like oh no it's over here dead with that looks like the a goat a uh, kid skull or a kid skull or something. I've never seen a, a predator with its prey before. And they're like, he's like holding the skull. So just, just like, all put it together. Slop. I was just like, <laughs> it was, it's, <sighs> it's honestly like, I didn't know. I was telling Dan before and I told Andrew, I didn't know when we were pitching TV shows, we could pitch something like this. Mm. Right. Where I, I'd be like, this is, well, man, no, listen, like we let's pitch something now. Now we yeah. know you got to take something manly. And mix mm-hmm. in UFOs. That's it. Mm-hmm. Or cryptids. Well, yeah, yeah, but that's under the umbrella. Yeah. UFOs are the yeah, big yeah. catch, and then everything <laughs> else is underneath it. We get, we're just, well, that's the thing. No, we're like, going to start a show. It's going to be called. Show. It's going to be called Haunted Construction. <laughs> so I'm saying. Mm-hmm. That's what I told the boys. UFOs and, and construction said. workers. Dude, no, I got it. UFO contractors. Yeah, yes, that's like, great. I like it. There's more uh, unearthed. Native American burial grounds on contractor sites than anywhere in the West. <laughs> Yo, and boss, every, and, I just dug this hole. What is this bone? Oh, I, every, I ain't never seen a bone like that. Every yeah, every time someone like knocks in the first <laughs> shovel full, they put there's something in there. Is that as soon, as, is, I, is that as, soon as I put that shovel in the ground, I knew something was wrong. Oh, boys, we could eat everything because there's like yeah, there's the native burial grounds. Could be a dead body. Could be a fucking. Uh, yeah. you know what I mean? I we got to go, re- some shit. We we gotta go renovate uh, Riverside Hospital, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is Ooh. great. Yeah. Oh, this we've, is been called, we've been called <laughs> in to do the <laughs> renos on the... No, you just, you know, you tie in the you tie in the whole, like, the, what is it? Like the home beautification stuff. Like you put on, like, the <laughs> HGTV stuff, and you turn into, before, like, renovating this house after. into, like, also, <laughs> yeah, UFO things. And, like, this is your How house. How long would it take oh, you to get your electrical <laughs> ticket? <laughs> right, yeah, good. right. We've got the finisher. Zell's the finisher. Brain's the framer. You could be the Sparky. I'll be the medical guy. Just yeah, in a fucking trailer the whole time. <laughs> we got to call out medical ex safety. Andrew. I'll be the safety, safety guy. guy. <laughs> the site safety. <laughs> you got to take a look. I got my AED out here, boys. <laughs> this is a great. This is a great. This would sell. I got to yeah. make sure you guys are wearing your PPE. 
No, it's yeah, like it. Yeah. yeah. Ocean. Yeah. Like, it's like ocean we've been air. high <laughs> haunted or listed. <laughs> 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 we go in these people didn't know their house was haunted but since we're in here doing the renos we listen we're trademarking it. all these fucking ideas too whoever's listening it's so all, all copyrighted just, yeah. we, all we copyrighted. put it out first yeah. it's our idea it's our idea dude we could do yeah I mean, the great yeah. part is we could do all the renos on our own houses first right yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty expenses. sure <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna check if I still have that guy's phone number <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, John, the producer. There hey, he listen, six two six California. Hey, number. listen, shoot him an email. Be like, listen, I know it's been a while, but listen, we just watched UFO Cowboys, and we got an idea. We have Uf- an idea. Finally, UFO <laughs> contractors, right? We're going to houses. Uh, We're doing the rentals. It's haunted. We got to get rid of the spirits, the ghosts, the UFOs. On and any what? any t- anytime something goes wrong in the construction process, it's because <laughs> oh yeah, it was it's paranormally activated. Yeah. 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 Oh my God! Someone so, ordered. Oh, yeah, this is gonna cost. This is gonna cost you an extra three yeah. grand right here. Like we gotta get this. We gotta get this properly blessed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's always like, you know, yeah. There's whatever. always a priest who comes in. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to install. We're gonna have to install special abduction yeah. proof skylights here, so you don't get sucked up by alien spaceships. No, but we like, don't stop at just. Pre- we don't that. stop at like Christian. We we t- we do all the st- supernatural. Creatures Everything. from all religions, oh, yeah. so we got to bring in like I proof your we, house. We got to bring in all all different religions. Got to bring in for depending yeah. on the house, depending on the problem. We got to use special triple pane windows so they can't teleport into your into your house. Yeah. Like I keep them out that way. God you know? damn it! <laughs> we ordered we ordered ten meters too much concrete again. That poltergeist must be following us house site to site. <laughs> Uh, I thought I thought it was really funny when they're looking for the horse. Like they don't the way that they track the horse down. It's like somebody sees it on their fucking doorbell camera. Like they're like a local rancher. They're like, we got this video from a local rancher, blah, and like comes and shows them like the next day. Is like, yeah, I think that's your horse. And I'm like, yeah, you think it's just a riderless horse, just like. Patting out around. Well, like you're the, Unless that's you're the an fucking master trackers, I guess. I don't know. and they're like. using drones to track down the horses. I was like, I was like, oh yeah. yeah. Or I had to call in some favors, like to get Dude. a drone guy out there and fucking. Yeah. Get, we gotta find him, and he's calling him on the radio. And he's like, "Is that her? Is that her?" That's I'm like. At, is that her the only horse that you've been looking for for the last five minutes and you've seen like yeah man we could be on we could be on fucking late night tlc with this show we're hitting two different groups right and then it's their decision to be able to come up with if it's satire or not yeah well okay let's get into that let's get into that because i'm like all these guys are playing like they're playing (sighs) they're playing themselves it's a reality tv show Mm -hmm. but i'm like Mm -hmm. i'm watching the first episode and i'm like i'm Five minutes in, I'm doing the old like. <laughs> Five minutes in, two. As soon as yeah. I saw the, the yeah. opening things, yeah. I messaged you guys like, "Is this real? Yeah. Like, this is, yeah. satire, is this right? satire?" <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, I don't actually know. Like, I'm like, because I'm like, it's it's so good. It's so good if it's satire. It's, like, it's phenomenal. I don't. Th- this show, this show is produced by the same team, like the same people who did Mountain Monsters, and Mountain Monsters is like unintentionally. I don't know if actually I don't know if it's unintentionally brilliant or not because there is this weird thing where you're like you you start watching it and you start off like okay questioning you're like is this real or not and then you're like oh, okay like no this isn't real is it is it supposed to is it supposed to be we're supposed to assume that it's real and then they're actually scripting it like oh like they're trying to trick us or is it like no it's unintentional it's intentionally made like that because there was a show a long time ago that was called like lizard like towing and, and when i wa- yeah, yeah. used to be on like yeah, Court i remember TV lizard or some towing, shit. Yeah. and it was yeah and it was like and i thought that was real for a while like i watched no, a like bunch Springer, of that show and i thought it was like but it's like it's, it's 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 some of it's scripted some of it's real some of it's scripted and you're like okay but like this show um, Mountain Monster or Mountain Monsters, uh, UFO Cowboys. It's like, yeah, you watch this and you're like, are they are they insulting my intelligence? Are they trying to make me? Are you know? Do they think that I think this is real? There's that's no that way. that would be insane. I'd be an idiot to think this is real. And then you're like, well, like, I don't know. I'm watching this, and then you're like, well, if it's just not real and you just don't take it seriously, like, this is actually kind of it's fun. UFO like, entertainment, this is actually kind of whatever. And then it it's gets conspiratorial. Like, is what it like is. I said. Yeah, it's conspiratorial. I got like, there is a point where it's like at. In the first couple episodes, like three episodes, it's like they it kind of like could be real. Like it kind of you're like, okay, what? whatever. There's a there's a point. There's Where? a definite point. No, no, no. 
There's we're a rather definite, we're that group a of people point. just hang no, no, out. No, no, I'm saying and who's bankrolling them? Like none of this makes sense. <laughs> like who's paying the fucking sky watchers? But there's there's a point, like, and one of the things that like brilliantly, the show almost like jumps the shark and it jumps into a level that you're like, oh, okay, right. And then this is 100%. This has to be 100%, of course. But then it's just, then at that point, it's just like a drama show or something. Like, what I don't know what it is. You, like <clears throat> Andrew said, maybe it's UFO entertainment, but it gets to a point you're like, I, episode four ended on a cliffhanger. And I've like on my notes, it just said, he's naked. He's naked. And I'm like, okay, I'm sold. I'm going to watch the rest of this fucking show because it's fucking going to get real crazy. <laughs> it's just really great. Why well, are they going to show the new like, It's just a I'm bizarre in. story. It's like a bizarre story. It's like even just like watching it and they're like, Jeff comes in there when he's like after he like he doesn't explain what that what was under that tarp until I think like the third Dan, episode, like halfway it. through Can the third episode, which is 20. F- what What's under the tarp? Not spoil it. Spoil, or spoil it. it. I want to know. Oh, spoil it. So underneath the tarp, underneath the tarp, they lift it up and he's like, it was a mummified hog. But <laughs> the thing is that hog, wait, so that hog had a symbol, had a symbol on, marking on its forehead, uh, which Jeff had seen before years. during a series of cattle, mut- <clears throat> like buffalo mutilations on a ranch that he used to work on. And they had like 30, I don't know, they had something like 30,000 or something dollars worth of uh, these uh, of these buffalo being mutilated and then being marked with this mysterious triangle symbol. Mm. And then the triangle symbol is the same one that he saw on the fucking mm. hand of the boar. Okay. And so you're like, oh, fuck. They're setting it's, it up. I, I know. There's it's, some sort it's of so serial dumb, but you're like killer. Yeah. I, ca- I kind of want to know. <laughs> like, I want to know what's going on. Like, I hope this show gets <laughs> real crazy season two, like they get abducted. You know, they, what I mean? I, I'm pretty sure it's gotten greenlit for season two. Like it's it's good for season two. I'm not all the. Why, there's, I don't know how many episodes. Is it six episodes? I can't remember how I, many. There's not that. I many hope there's like a Travis the Walton incident where like they're all out in the field and then they like one guy goes to approach and he gets taken and they all run away. And then five days later, yeah. he gets dropped okay, yeah. off. Then you got five seasons <laughs> later. To, five days later, no, five <laughs> days later, five hundred miles away, yeah. he's dropped off. Yeah, we're but he's still got three looking months for Jeff. worth of okay, gear. That, that's literally what happens in the third episode. Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not even serious. I'm not oh. That's literally what happens third episode. Oh, my Someone God. Someone gets abducted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Apparently. This is amazing. Okay, well, I've only watched one, so. <laughs> it's, yeah, I just like, we got to pitch UFO contractors. We'll all it's, be where, we'll is, all be uh, a fucking walking onto the site. Out of the bathroom, that's how it opens. All of us were in Carhartt. Out of the porta potty. <laughs> yeah, out of the port out of the blue houses. All, yeah. all beside each other. <laughs> <laughs> that just construction. And, and the whole the whole time in the show, we all have we all have perfectly brand new clothes and gear. It's never been used. All oh, yeah. Mm. All the ti- pristine. The, tiny- <laughs> the show brought to you by Carhartt. Co- like comically tiny belts. Carhartt and Dick- comically, yeah, like- I, I'm Braden, the framing expert, and I have the tiniest little pouch with the tiniest little framing hammer that you would get from like a dollar store for one of the hanging kits. I'm like I'm the framing expert, and I've seen while I'm on roofs putting together trusses, I have my eyes glued to the skies, and that's where I've seen the most UFOs. I'd be like, wouldn't you be like, wouldn't you just want to be looking down if you're framing a roof? Make sure that you don't no, Dan, no. And then no. the joke is, the okay. joke is that like whenever we're actually building something, anyone watching who has any experience would be like. Yo, they're doing no, that completely they're so right. wrong. No, like, holy <laughs> yes. what, what is going on there? We're about to pour this concrete pad, and it's just literally like fucking a two by ten square, no rebar, no anything. It's like a hundred feet long. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's such a weird it's such a weird genre of tv like that i've seen like i i know because you have you have other shows like say like ghost adventures right or like what was it no what was before ghost adventures what was the other one ghost um ghost hunters was it ghost hunters ghost hunters the original one where it was like nothing ever happened right it was like you watch that show and you're like mm, they hardly ever find ghosts or they always explain it out and whatever. Then you had ghost adventures with fucking Zach yeah. Baggins and 
stuff always happens happens or like always happens or what fucking Zach Packens got possessed and he's now like a medium. I don't know. <laughs> like it, it went somewhere, right? Like it, it happens. Um, you have your other shows like Oak Island and like, you know, mystery of Oak Nothing Island and, and Skinwalker Ranch to, to some extent or whatever. But these ones like mountain monsters and UFO Cowboys, like, I feel like there's not other ones like these where it's like, okay, these, you can't take these seriously. You can't, you cannot like, it's not, it's just a weird, it's just a show. But that's it's, like, it's also pushed it's, as they say real. It's reality TV. <laughs> yeah. They say it's a reality TV show, but it's more like, it's almost like parks and rec or something, yeah. you know, or like the yeah, office. there's, there's like, some like, fine print in there somewhere. Yeah. And it's like, oh, like, you know, some of these, some of these elements, yeah, there's probably something right in there. It's just like the elements of the show are scripted or whatever. And it's like, you mean all of it? But the, then if they, you watch it, it probably it, says like, like, it's just a weird it story. It probably says the elements in this show are loosely based on reality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's sold as a reality TV show. And I'm like, it's based what, in reality. I, what is this? Yeah, for? Yeah. I, mean, it I don't know what the, I don't know what wrong. the genre of TV is. Like, I'm, just, I can't put it. I'm, there's probably somewhere, but like, I, I don't know what it's called, but I'm like, it's just like, like I said, it's like, it's cinema. I'm verite, fucking scrolling like, through these reviews and wreck or whatever. And this is like, people, <laughs> this is real. Like this guy, angry? Chris Thompson, two weeks ago, awesome show with an amazing cast of men actually looking <laughs> for and revealing the truth. And every damn one of these boys have bigger balls than church bells. After 15 minutes yeah, into this first yeah. episode, I was forced to binge watch until the last frame of the final episode of season yes. one. Yes. Best wishes, Jeff. Hang in there, brother. What happens oh, to Jeff? Man, I don't know. We're gonna have to find what happens out. to Jeff? What happens to Jeff? <laughs> That guy was fully torched love it. the whole season. Dude, they're so funny. They're like, they're, everything is like, we're going to do this the cowboy way. Like, they get into one point, they're like, okay, we, the drones and stuff, like, it don't work. Like, your drone, there's there's some point, they use a drone, and then something happens where the drone gets, like, can't function anymore. And then they're like, well, that tech, your high tech for looting stuff didn't work. We're going to do this the cowboy yeah. way, which means walking with sticks, apparently. I don't, <laughs> and, like, like jump, just and like jump scares <laughs> all the time. Like, it's yeah. something in the dark. <laughs> What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? And then they get their guns out. And you're like, yeah. No, it's, 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 <laughs> it's like amazing. Fucking, I, I, I highly I recommend. It. I watched two episodes and I was like, I'm, I think season one's eight episodes. It's fucking, it's easy watch. They're 24 minutes long. Oh. They're fucking easy. I'm definitely going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna, to, I, I got to finish I'm the rest because I'm like, I am, I'm sold. Like after that, the fourth episode cliffhanger, like yeah, you're, you're halfway. I I gotta, watch I gotta, I'd <laughs> rather get kicked in the nuts repeatedly. <laughs> 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 I fucking love this shit. I love this shit. <laughs> well, I can't, how do you have time? I, I work. Understand. I work. I have time. I work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I watched it at two times speed. Oh yeah, you could do that too. Then I think you process you life at two times speed. <laughs> I do yeah, most man. things I watch. Like, I just this speed. wealth of knowledge that you have. Like I don't know how a normal person would be able to people, have that. People don't talk fast enough. It's crazy. Like, <laughs> speed up. Yeah, yeah. I'm like put it put it in an email and then send it to me so I can read it faster and you can actually yeah. say it to me. <laughs> uh, but it is like it is a bizarre. Like I said, I don't know. I love this weird genre of TV and just like this whole thing has become because it's like it's not like it's not like Skinwalker Ranch where it's like they expect you to really take it seriously. It's driven by data, yeah. you know, Skinwalker Buddy, Ranch. We're driven by the there's data. There's people in these reviews that are like, fucking let's go, brother. Like this is <laughs> yeah. this is it. Well, it's because these people. are the those are the people. I, those are, those are, my those are people. the people that are like <laughs> I hate that they aren't finding anything and they're like, see results. When you go out in the American you want way, results, you better get cowboys. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Travis, put them in the White House for fuck's yeah. sake. Yeah. These boys should be running for <laughs> office. They get shit done. Hadley piece of shit for <laughs> for president. It's crazy, <laughs> man. I just well, like so that Hadley's just crazy. Did you guys see that place? Really, so, like, this, that was a blissful like, time. That's like 1996 wrestling's real things yeah. are going great i got some pokemon cards like things are good like that's that state of mind dude i bet those guys are having a blast guys, out there like they're just like you're riding yeah, around they're finally getting paid just like there's what yeah. this amazing <laughs> right these finally guys stuff. finally got like, get yeah. paid they're happy yeah. yeah hey no caleb has ridden the rodeo for the last eight years Caleb's uh, also been important. on like celebrity <laughs> fucking deal or not and a bunch of other <laughs> random shit no <laughs> yeah because he's a rodeo star <laughs> Does everything the cowboy way. Fuck, I used to love that movie. Did you guys okay. see? Cowboy did you guys way. see it? Speaking of like fucking other celebrity stuff, did you guys see that like weird like porn star messaged us about interviewing uh, 
What? They, they what? Was like, yeah, hold, hold on, on, hold on, because I would Whoa. immediately, gra- I would immediately agree. Yeah, that, like, yeah what's hold happening? Hold on, hold on. No, we haven't. Pull her up. Hold on, pull it up. That's the no, 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 no. That's it's the not time. a her. <laughs> oh, it's a dude. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's fine that's too. Fine. North. <laughs> He's got stories. Yeah, so, I'll be into it. Sure. Let's hear it. So it, it's it's from. Uh, hold on, wrong, wrong Instagram. Where was it? Was it, it in Instagram? Always want to get probed. So we got a message from Pornado the movie. Uh, okay. and this oh, is from I'm NATO? I'm yeah. in. And this is fucking from Abduction Wine. It says, greetings, Alien Rob here. Uh, Evan Stone is actually on the ballot for Nevada U.S. Congress election, and I've been making a bunch <laughs> of his campaign ads oh, for I him. Oh, I saw that one. And if Yaz wanted him to come on an episode talk politics, porn, and even UFOs, let me know. I think he'd definitely be a fun guest for you guys. So then I looked. I was like, what the fuck is Pornado the movie? It's like a fucking porn movie starring this Evan Stone who's like, He's got to be six. Who's also running for public yeah. office? Like that's what he's. Yeah, I, I like, want to talk. I, I want to talk this guy uh, yeah, so bad. Yeah, yeah. I, I am. Yeah, I'll be, I'm I'll be like, this is the world's most interesting man. Let's do he probably it. said porn. Well, you said porn into the movie. I was, I was like, to, just yeah. double sold. Yeah. Now everything else is icing <laughs> on the cake. Yeah, we need finally, to talk to this guy. <laughs> finally, we're gonna get into the fucking. We're gonna get the connections. Right, but is he gonna try? Is he gonna try to upsell us like freaking? I think they Alice. have their own. <laughs> oh, I think he's got his own like wine. Looks like. Get him to send be, us a couple uh, bottles and we'll fucking drink it yeah. while we well, do. We'll I would, it. I and it looks drink. like he's got the porn stars to. I don't think we're uh, we're not a sponsored she, by Octavia anymore. Are can we, we yeah. shift into this? Yeah. See, this is she's a trying. She's trying to, to sell please. something for him. Alien Rob, and then we got more. Can we got uh, this well, is like, it's called abduction wine. There's like oh for please. The, yes. for, this is right up the What the hell? I I said let's do it. But like this tornado, the movie it stars like. Evan Stone. I don't actually know if it's okay. is it is it. I don't like know a, if it's a po- actual porn movie or not. Hold on, let me put on movie. my safe search. I'll look it yeah. up right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's starring Katie. We just Katie won that Morgan, case, so they can't spy on Evan anywhere. Stone, Autumn South. Oh, that are these, all the, these are all porn names for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hold on. Oh, let's hold on. Let's take the teaser and the cast info. Oh, but here, is this Evan is Stone weird. Real name? Evan Stone as Austin Merriweather, ex Storm Chaser turned adult star. I love it. I'm sold. Bo, so this is like Twister, Bo Blaze like with, as with Mr. Porn? Bunsen, like, Austin's I'm ex sold. high school coach, chemistry Can we get teacher, advanced copies of and this Storm movie? Chaser mentor. Uh, Cody Vore as Penny Proton, Mr. Bunsen's is, intern we and lab this. assistant. Can we get guest spots on this movie? We can got, we get like in the next. We got, the we be the fluffer, Dan? We got. <laughs> can we get like the, this is the, Can we get like on the next? We got movie? Like, old, these are old <laughs> porn sequel. stars. These yeah. are from the la, like the previous era of porn. Yeah. Dude, yeah. this could be the we next got, Sharknado, listen, and they can got, be making like six of these. Autumn South is Venus Vortex, Space Queen from the Andromeda Galaxy, who is the mastermind behind the Pornado. Buddy, this is like I haven't seen anything like this since Flesh Gordon. Gordon. Yeah, exactly. Remember how good yeah. Flesh Gordon was? Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, we're in. Tell him if we can get Venus the that one. Or <laughs> <Yeah>. t- <laughs> that's going to be an alien queen. And can she come on as Venus Vortex? Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, that's what we'll say. We'll be like, hey, listen, we got to have one of the... We'll, we'll interview everyone, they, but they have to be in character. They also have, yeah. they have abduction <laughs> wine and paranormal ale. Oh, I like nice. it. Oh, can they please send us some? <laughs> yeah, they can come yeah, on the show, but they got to awesome. send us a case of par- paranormal ale. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm down. These people yeah, sound man. awesome. And the Blu ray versions of the movie. <laughs> yeah, I want to see every freckle. Hey, have, I want 4K. The other thing, have you guys seen the fucking. <laughs> has it been confirmed yet that the fucking Dubai shit's going on was due to cloud seeding? No. Is not. it not? Isn't it just like no. once they have that storm every once in a while? Yeah, it's just a crazy storm. See, because I keep, like, I keep yeah, reading, I keep reading, they, change, I keep reading the that change. they do cloud seeding there. Well, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And they didn't plan it properly. But that's not how cloud seeding works. No, that's and not how it works. There was a, like, normally they pick the right clouds and it was a storm coming in and they cloud seeded already heavy storm clouds. That's not how it works. No, I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know how cloud seeding works, I but I would imagine it, it doesn't. I don't know what that is. Usually. Like that. Yeah, you so can't you like chubby overload. Rain? A yeah, cloud. yeah, yeah, it's that is like, chubby yeah. rain. Yeah, 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 the cloud. That's how you get rain. The cloud has as much oyster, rain, moisture as it rain. has, right? And then you kind of like add moisture to yeah, the cloud. Yeah, well, well, you've like cloud seeding works by like, you find a cloud that's like kind of close to like whatever, and then you you introduce the the chemicals or whatever to the whatever. But the clouds only have so much that they can hold, and it's and then can't you yeah, in, so can't you like, induce <laughs> the rain with like a laser too? I think you can like excite the cloud um, with laser. I haven't looked at that one. I haven't looked at that one. I, I would assume that just like triggers it, just you know, 
precipitating faster, I mm-hmm. guess. But it would just be like, what's in that cloud? It's not like you put more stuff in the cloud. It would just be like, it just get, pops. Get. You're just like, you're just heating it up. So it rains. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it's pretty it's fucking like crazy. Vapor. Some of the videos and stuff coming out of there. I, I like, love oh. the videos of them trying to save their luxury cars by having them in rafts, <laughs> <laughs> pulling them around. And, oh, there's going to be a bunch of like Lamborghinis with like oh. flood damage on the like, used car websites. <laughs> It's crazy that so many people are like are so rich there that everyone has nice cars. So now they have like really, really expensive license plates. And the more you pay, like the lower your number is. That's like the next oh, status yeah, okay. thing. So if you want the license yeah. plate, just number one, it's like million or millions of dollars a year just for the license plate registered. There's like, I mean, there's, there's countries. I know in Thailand, they have a, some, something similar where it's like they, you can pay extra for like a certain numbers, like lucky numbers license plates or something like that. Well, we have like, you can get um, custom license yeah. plates here, but they're not yeah. astronomical. Yeah, but you just, you're not even allowed to get yeah. ass man like, here. What? Fucking bullshit. Oh. I meant a real we, ass man. Can you put A55 man? No. Like, can you what do you mean that? a real <laughs> ass no. man? A real ass man. We went to, when I was at work, I went to a care a home. Proctologist? And they have, uh, everybody's got their names up on their little suites and it was something or other ass man. I took a picture of it. I'll send it to you if you ass want. Ass man? No, ass man. That's like his, his name was actually Ass Man. Ass Man, yeah. I'll send that's, it to you. That's Ass-Man. awesome. That's a great. That's the greatest. That's the fucking that's that a guy's, strong that guy's had a great life. Yeah. <laughs> ass Man. Yeah. Ass Man. I am the Ass oh, Man. Dude. The best. Yeah. You maybe could get the Ass Man plate with the last name Ass Man because you'd be like, "That's my name." Yeah. Maybe you should change your name to Ass Man so you can get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say their names because they're fucking hilarious, but I'll put it in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's see I gotta see this shit what's well, coming buddy I can't um, believe I didn't send it to you guys I sent it to Drew for sure the, the other thing uh, the only other thing I've been seeing pop off now is uh, um, Kona Blue nonstop. That I like I we talked about that a long time ago it was a fucking it was like the government program to reverse engineer UFOs it was like around a tip time too. Oh, oh that's that right. that that, that came to there. that's right now because Tucker Carlson was on Joe Rogan and he talked about that. Oh, is that why he said something? Oh, like, I just yeah. saw it was popping off and it's like I knew Kona Blue was real. Yeah. And I was like, was there a disclosure yeah. or something? Fucking anyone? No, somebody dropped somebody like dropped some documents or something that mentioned that project. But then like if you read the whole thing, it's just kind of like <laughs> yeah. it's an if we Those it's are, an if we found stuff yeah. situation where it's just like if yes Kona Blue is real, but they're like this. This is the designation Ooh. that we would give a project Can I his if name? we found. No, it. according to Tucker Carl- Carlson, it was a it's mistake. A it was leaked, and that's why. Oh, I saw. You know what? I saw. I thought that was an old interview. I didn't know he went on again because I saw. I was seeing the clips of him being like. I think he was just I, on last week. I was. I think that's that the was? first time he's ever been on. Oh, I thought maybe I was just thinking of another interview with him. But he was talking maybe. about uh, the oh the all the politicians are scared of the three letter agencies, and I was like, I feel like you would be. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> He's like, they don't want, they're, everyone's scared of them. I was like, I'm scared of them. I have nothing to do with them. I mean, if I was a politician, I like, would just try and stay on the good confirm, side of everybody. Yeah. I'd be like, that's weird because like Congress confirms the people who run those do they, though? organizations. I, they pretty much do. <laughs> they also provide funding. Oh, there's there's <laughs> like, the ass man. They also approve bills. <laughs> ass man. What a fucking powerful name. I mean. What did you just. I was talking that about was KFC the whole Herbs. Point. That was the whole point. Oh, I thought he said I could say the name. No? Oh, I'll fucking blank it out. 47 minutes. <laughs> it's been accidentally leaked. <laughs> okay, that's a fucking great name. Oh, it's it just, what's wrong with that? What's in the wrong with that name? There's a powerful name. It's a great name. I never yeah. said anything wrong with it. It's just a break in confidentiality. <laughs> you can't no. use that shit. Just dox yeah. that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. lives at you guys address too <laughs> yeah, yeah I do but, uh, what's his wife's names <laughs> I don't I don't think there'd be many ass men and make it that difficult to find this person <laughs> like, no, that, that's so f- it'd like it'd take like a f- 10 minute google search his ass man who this a person is. popular last name just go you just you go on LinkedIn and type in that name ass man <laughs> I'm sure you could probably find I them. bet there's a lot I bet there's probably more a couple than you of think. it's probably actually yeah. probably oh, yeah. the, sh- yeah. the surname yeah. ass man has seen a rise in popularity over the years <laughs> it was ranked 127th uh, so ass thousand. man be fucking is and what you're saying <laughs> it's climbed to the 117th thousands 
Okay, this doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> I always see that. I always see that like headline clip, and it's like meme. It's like man with bizarre name robs like Florida bank, and it's like zip 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 zip. Point zero five percent of people out of a ten population of a hundred thousand have the last name Assman. Okay, Assman. Assman. It's a fucking. That's a great name. It's an. I, there's I'm no think, change. It was a it. Assman. Thinking about it. Thinking about changing. Yeah, really. Changing my surname. Really, no one has the last name Asman. <laughs> then you can put it on your license plate. Yeah. I might have to go to the fucking IC auto plan place and check. Be like, if I change my name, would it be appropriate then for me to have the license plate Asman? No? And then they say yeah. no. He you said, definitely got to name your next kid Egbert. Egbert Asman. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. That's a yeah. fucking name. Egg ass. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You're the worst nickname ever. What's up, big ass? <laughs> uh, oh my God, we got Stanley Cup fucking playoffs going on oh, now. It's hockey time. Fuck. So then, you don't fucking enjoy the the, the Lord's sport. Hockey. Your Capitals got smoked today. Did they? Yeah. Good. Well, that with sucks, that point, diff, I'm not surprised. Yeah, they I don't barely, even they how just they got snuck in because everyone sucked. Yeah, the East sucks. We're getting a cup. A cup. Uh, no, we need some solid fucking play. We've been slumping for the last, I don't know how many months. It's been fucking greasy. I'm happy Demko's back. Hopefully that sets everything straight, but we have not looked good lately. Yeah, the Canucks are limping. They struggle without Demko. It's no doubt. They're limping in. Well, Dem- Demko's a top three fucking goalie. In, 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 That's what I mean. They were 500 when he was injured. Yeah. yeah he's Which is sick. not not a playoff team. <laughs> no. Hey, you just got to make it and then anything can happen. You yeah. just have to get hot at the right time or you get smoked and then you're out and people just make fun of the team for the next six months until we start again. Well, listen, I, we better beat the pedos. We better. Yeah. The I'm what? The pedos. The peds. <laughs> oh. Sexual predators. <laughs> get rid of them. That's, that's funny. I never, I've never heard that. <laughs> really? No. Short for the predators. The pedos. That's yeah. funny. Get them out, man. Yeah, get them out. Interesting. It'd be fun. I was looking at, I was like, just for fun, I was like, I wonder how much it would cost to fly to Nashville to see a Nashville playoff game. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah. 3,500 round trip. Yeah, but that's <laughs> like, that's your life right now. You're fucking vacation brain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Vacations, houses, doesn't matter what it is. Spare no expense. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Spare expense, no expense. Expe- just expense. just add on some more. Add on yeah. some to your mortgage, like take another 20 grand and mm-hmm. then just burn it. Yeah. I'm thinking about getting one of those reverse mortgages where I can then just borrow against it and like <laughs> rack it up. Okay. Uh, no, right. oh, what, buddy, don't, you got the cheat code, I thought. Without yeah, recourse. Money. recourse. Huh? Yeah. yeah did Unlimited you sign, money. when you signed yeah. your mortgage contract, did you say without recourse? I, it's that? funny, funny story. <laughs> I wrote that on the bottom and they were like, well, I'll just print a new one. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. No, wait, Mr. Renner, do you not want to buy this house? Oh, fuck. And I'm like, yeah, I want to. They're like, well, just sign your name. You can't yeah. add to the contract after uh, yeah. it's your my, turn to uh, sign. I was like, oh. My my surname is without recourse. Yeah. I was like, I noticed Without here. recourse, yeah. ask me. Ask men without recourse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like funny. I was like, he's like, damn. He the got jokes us. on them though, because my name was in lowercase and it needs to be all capitals to be me. Oh, so got really, him. Right, got so him. I got him. So got I, him. I don't have to pay shit. Uh, Suck you. I actually checked. I actually, I kind of peeked in to see if that guy's still going strong. Still going strong right now. For now. But I know there's going to be yeah, times like, where I go and check in on that guy. That's because taxi, like tax season is just yeah. ending. So it's like the IRS is catch up. Yeah. It'll be a while, <laughs> but there'll be a time where I go to check in on that site and I'm like, oh, it's gone. I wonder what happened. <laughs> taxes, yeah. man. <laughs> Fucking taxes. I spent all my taxes on the reno and now I have to find that money again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking taxes. I, 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 I don't pay any tax all year. I withhold. Yeah. So I have all this money sitting in this account. It, it's like it's like a, it's a GIC, but it's not like locked in. But you can so you can take it out anytime. And then I burned it all. It's all gone. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Whoopsies. Money. That's what fake. line of credits for, right? Money's but fake, anyways. Money's unlimited. Yeah. You got unlimited money. You're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep signing out credit cards. It's yeah. fine. Just keep getting new it's credit cool. cards. I, I have steal a- someone's SID number, and then I can get a credit card that, that I don't have to pay for. Mm-hmm. I have a I I have an in, a native friend now, and uh, I was 
going to buy a washer dryer. And he's like, why are you buying washer dryer at the brick? He goes, order at Home Depot. I'll go buy for you. No taxes, buddy. I was like, oh, yeah. I was That's like, a good connection. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I was like, what else can we use that for? <laughs> no, I used to work with a guy with the status too. And he, like, you want a computer? Just give him cash. He'd buy you a computer. He'd save yeah. you fucking 12%. Yeah. Amazing. I was like, this is fucking great. Amazing. What if I identify as native now? That, where does that get me? <laughs> Have you done your 23 me? You probably got some buried in there. You know, my, my Shmo's grandma. has got a bit of fucking. Yeah. My grandma on my dad's side from Montreal. So I'm like, you know. Oh, Quebecois. Quebecois. Uh, Métis status. So maybe Métis. Louis Real's fucking great, 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 great yeah. grandson. My ancestors. I brought a real ass. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. I can see so, it. Um, at, the, at this point in Canadian history, we got uh, a lot of people got the 5% Métis, I think. Fucking bullshit. I don't have a fucking. <laughs> I got none. I got nothing. Not even a fucking one percent. I haven't done. I, I haven't done the. Yeah, your eyebrows testing. give that won. away, though. We My we all results. know what you. Yours. What are you trying to say? Oh no, no, you have you have native status of Lebanon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Native Lebanese. Yeah. If you move back to like. If you move back to Lebanon, is there any, no. there's no, like, there's die. no perks? <laughs> yeah, well, of course. It's a bad time to move back. Yeah. We've got property there. Yeah. But no, what I meant is if you go back, they're like, oh, you're like, I, here's a perk I'd for I'd being a native son. Yeah, probably. you get conscripted if you move this. back. Yeah. No, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. The perks okay. are not that great. <laughs> See, maybe I'm too old now. After, I think after 35. Perfect. I think you're good. Nice. That's funny. Just ducked it. Yeah. Yeah. Lebanon as a country looks so beautiful though, like the coast oh, and everything. Paris of the Middle East, but it's about to get fucking about to get caught in the got between Iran and everybody else. I or yeah, it's already it's gonna get pissed by. Well they like they Hezbollah sent some shit from Lebanon and oh god, it's not gonna be good. It's mess. gonna be another what? firework factory explosion, I'm sure. All oh, right, <laughs> that was insane. I forgot about that. Yeah, that was uh, yeah. fertilizer. Wasn't it wasn't a fertilizer, fertilizer warehouse. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah that was sure. the biggest fertilizer warehouse I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Boys, that's where we had the Holy Grail. That's what happened. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, that makes sense. Like, is that Arc is that a legit? Like, how did well, how does anywhere store that much fertilizer? It looked like a goddamn oh, tactical God. nuke went off in your downtown. It leveled. One did it, it been, it's been like piling up. Like, it just no. Been it like, was. Yeah, they just kind of. The story was it was like it, uh, like confiscated off a ship or something. Like, it didn't have the right paperwork and it was stuck right. in this warehouse and it just stuck there forever. forever. It was stuck in there for a long time. And yeah. then the, the firework factory was beside it or whatever. And it fucking all went. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Because that's where you put a firework. Yeah, you put it right beside <laughs> thousands and thousands of pounds of explosive fertilizer. Oh, no. <laughs> Cow shit. Not, yeah, that was, a, that, that was an insane explosion. Man. Listen, yeah. do you really think, like, think about of all the countries in the world, especially that area, do you think that they shoot off fireworks for fun? No. Every yeah. single one of those I people run no. in bomb shelters when they hear fucking fireworks. They're like, no, <laughs> this is not fun. We hear bangs, we get the fuck out of here. Yeah, a firework from a distance could be, you don't know how big that gun yeah. is. Yeah. Could be fucking anything. Terrifying. Imagine that's, in, imagine that's just a big cover up. Imagine that's a big cover up. That's what that, it is a cover up, right? And that you, you not have you not looked into that at no. all? The I watched the explosion. Oh, yeah. My shit. Everybody thinks it's a giant cover up. But why were they trying to like what? What's cover up for what? Good question. I don't like know. Who, what were they trying to blow up in that area? <laughs> or what blew up unexpectedly? Instead, yeah. Like maybe that's maybe that's the thing. Like maybe it was they're like. You know, if some, let's just say hypothetical, maybe that was a tactical nuke that went off and they're just like, no, I know. I'm just saying, I, that's why I said <laughs> hypothetical. And I'm like, then they're like, why did they have that? They don't have that. Why was that there? That was a big ass bomb. It was a big bomb. Big explosion. I guess you would tell if it was a, a nuke or something. Cause you'd be like, well, I think it was a missile strike is what I was. I, that one off the water. The one off the water where the guy's like on a kayak or something, and it's just like boof, and you just see all the shockwave coming towards him. I was like, "Holy shit!" You got some good camera angles of that explosion. It was pretty wild. So links between the conflict between Israel and Iran. Bunch of theories. Yeah. Did you guys also see that the fucking all the Boeing issues since we talked about Boeing, all the seven eighty sevens and shit now. 
Like it, dude. These have always had problems. This have always like it's it's just all like I said, it's all coming to a head now. The chickens are coming home to roost. They fucking McDonald Douglas fucking fucked over Boeing, and now this well, is McDonald all Douglas is shit. Boeing. I yeah. think is the problem. Like yeah, Boeing they did, but like when they merged, anymore. when they merged over, and and there was like Boeing was taking over McDonald Douglas, and then McDonald Douglas actually took over yeah. fucking Boeing, and then dude, it's like they won't even move the. I was reading an article. They said they won't even move, consider moving moving the headquarters from Chicago back to like Seattle. Like they won't even move the corporates because after they when they took over, they corporate moved over to Chicago or whatever. Can't be having a bunch and of hippies. They won't even consider Seattle moving it back. Like, yeah, you know, it's just like. I don't know. There's just a bunch of shit. You're just like, yeah, the bean counter is if I can fuck you guys over. Yeah. It's <laughs> military and drive profits. And like, I'm know, not going to lie. When I went to Mexico and I, I, it was like, I was like, Oh, please don't be on a seven thirty seven. Then it was like a seven eighty seven. And then like, as I'm in Mexico, people are sending me all these fucking seven eighty seven issues. And I'm, and like <laughs> legit when I was flying the way down, there was like a guy, I don't know if he knew about planes, but he was just like watching and he was just like, Oh, 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 looking at the wing nonstop, and then he he looked a little worried, and I was like, "Wow, what does he see?" But I was too scared to ask him because there's I really- something <laughs> on the wing, on the wing. <laughs> something on the wing, on oh, the wing. I just didn't want to know. I was like, "I don't want to. I'd rather just die in a fiery <laughs> heap than yeah, know about just something. make it quick. Woo. Yeah, just something quick. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to know without recourse. <laughs> it's okay. I flew on a max. <laughs> I, I flew on the, like the max jet right <laughs> after all that st- when they first went back in the sky. <laughs> hey, how's your like, uh, how's the fortress of solitude? I forgot to ask. How's yeah, it been? Oh man, you run out of lotion yet? <laughs> well, on Thursday, first yeah, night. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, I just I recorded awesome. Thursday night, Friday night, and all day yesterday. Nice, nice. Because we haven't we, we, drank all the beer we, already. Oh, I drank eighty two beers. We drank. Uh, between the band, we drank three cases, nice. three twenty-four packs. Pretty good. Did did a good number, but we haven't written any songs with the new drummer because we've only been jamming once a week, and that's just enough to practice. So we wrote first. We wrote the songs Thursday, Friday, and then we recorded three yesterday. Nice. How's the new drummer? Is he awesome? He's so good. Oh, sweet. He's actually the best drummer. Like he should be a a touring <laughs> like session drummer. Like, how, yeah, but how much does he? Do, how much cocaine does he do though? None anymore, well. as far as I know. <laughs> well, that's no fun. Now you need your fucking drummer's got to be the fucking wild card. The Keith Moons, Neil Peart, like the fucking animals. No, you don't want that. <laughs> no. For for every <laughs> one animal that one, makes though. it, there's ten thousand of those guys who just jump didn't, on him. He didn't get through. No, he's a great drummer and he's super. He's a super nice guy. That's Easy good. to work with. Doesn't fight you on every decision. <laughs> And every all the issues. So I'm just I'm just happy to be here with the other guy. <laughs> he's he's that's a, that's his only thing. He that's his only hobby is drums. He's got like seven drum kits. Nice, like okay. forty cymbals. <laughs> We're recording. Uh, what cymbals do you want me to bring? I was like, your cymbals. He's like, no, no. Like, <laughs> which ones do you want? Cymbals. Like, like there's know, more do you, than. Do you have any uh, K crashes? Dark crashes? He went, oh yeah, I got a whole set. <laughs> oh, bring those then. So, all the drummer, all I, the good I didn't even die. know there was other you know ones. All the, all the wild cards, all the, yeah. Yeah, they all die. Yeah, all the wild cards, just, they fucking die. I don't die, know why this just dawned on me, but all those guys I named fucking died. And then, when yeah, they spontaneously combust. Def Leppard's drummer lost his arm. <laughs> Lived, but you know, it Lars is still alive. Didn't stop cool. him. No, he's still doing it. They just, he's still wailing those skins. Is it they call drum skins? Is that? Uh, I just, there was a guy, uh, Mm -hmm. when we went and saw Ryan's band play in Tumblr Ridge, I was with this blonde guy who looked nothing like their drummer. Oh yeah. (laughs) And, uh, we got backstage and this guy goes, you're the fucking drummer from fucking Lucky Monkey. And my buddy goes, no, I'm not. And he goes like, and they look nothing alike. And he goes, yeah, he goes, yeah, you are a kid. Don't fucking lie to me. And he goes, you can fucking (laughs) wail on those skins, buddy. And Colin's like. Not the drummer, not a drummer. He goes, "Don't lie to me." And he goes, "Colin goes, okay, yeah, I am." And he goes, "I fucking knew it." And then <laughs> took we took a picture with him. We took pictures. It's nice. all of Lucky Monkey and my buddy Colin. That's hilarious. <laughs> Who's not the drummer? Was just we were fucking standing front row watching. <laughs> yeah, he he wouldn't let him have it. He's like, yeah, like, the he's drummer. like. Finally, mm-hmm. he's like, yeah, you know what? Nope. I am. I am the drummer. I yeah, like, you that's, got the, me. that's the only way out of this conversation. 
<laughs> Good times. Uh, anyway, should we wrap this uh, little power hour up? Wrap it up. Uh, Power, powered. Yeah, well, let's power down the power hour. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little, like I said, things are a little busy. We're all moving, moving, shaking uh, right now. So things will kind of uh, calm down in the next, uh, you know, m- month and a bit. And then we'll be uh, a little bit back to normal. But until then, bear with us. And as we always say at the end of these things, keep those eyes. <laughs>